Hi friend, welcome back to day five of 100 Days of Grace and Gratitude. I am pretty excited to dive into today. I actually have a new watercolor set we're going to try out for the first time. And this is about walking with joy. So this is my newer, um, larger set. This is Artistro paint that I got on Amazon. Um, wetting it with um, just water to start, um, kind of getting the palette a little bit primed and uh, starting with a wet brush with a really large um, wide wide brush I guess you could say for watercolor um, these colors were not exactly they didn't play exactly as I thought they would on this page but my idea with this being walking with joy was to sort of have a path and then use some journaling stickers um, washi tape stickers that are all different people walking and I really got to thinking about walking with joy in life is part of walking with purpose. And I never really thought about it so much that way as I have this last week. Um, I know it's been said, I probably have heard that a bunch of different times. Um, but when I, when I read John 15, 10, through 11 in the version that they have in this study if you obey my commandments you will remain in my love just as i have obeyed my father's commandments and remain in his love i have told you these things so that my joy may be in you and your joy may be complete and that really did kind of get to me as um walking in joy walking in love walking with the spirit is God's purpose for us here on earth. I know it can be really easy to question and ask like, well, what's my purpose? What am I supposed to do with my life? What does God want from me? And it really is to have a close walk with him that our joy and our love may be complete and full. So I wanted to reflect that today. Um, I'm playing with these different uh, watercolors and they're not playing <laughs> the way that I envisioned them. The colors are very different than how they swatched on actual watercolor paper. Um, so this is probably one of my least favorite pages artistically, but definitely a very um, powerful page to reflect on and emotionally. I absolutely love the verses that are on this page. Um, and I'm actually not even sure that I know what this translation is, N-E-T. I'm assuming, and it's just an assumption, New English translation, perhaps. Um, one of my favorite things to do when I'm working in different um, Bible studies or I'm studying the Word is I really like to um, base things out of either the New King James Version or the ESV, which is the English Standard Version. And then I like to use the YouVersion Bible app and highlight the verses and compare the different translations. And I really do believe that there is um, something to the... I'm not exactly sure how I want to say this. I, I know there is something to looking at the different translations and it's not to make the Bible say what we want it to say, but to help us to learn and let it sink in and give us some different perspectives when you put the different translations together. Now, if I were to only pick one version of the Bible, I probably would lean most towards the New King James Version. Um, that's just my personal preference because I was asked that this week. So um, there are different translations that this particular study uses, and I don't have a problem with that as far as um, giving you encouragement. I feel like uh, the version uh, translation, the message, I feel like that I call it my inspirational quotes Bible. Um, and I feel like it can sometimes be a little tricky and it makes it try to seem a little bit more feel good scripture. I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of trying to pick my words carefully. I, I don't have um, a deep theological background for some of these statements or thoughts. Um, I'm just sharing my personal feelings on it. Um, I think at the end of the day, God's word promises not to return void and his word shall stand. And I think that um, as we study and grow in our relationship with him, he meets us exactly where we're at. And um, 
as we seek him, we will find him when we seek him with our whole heart. And that's what really comes down to spending time in the word. It's not what can God's word do for me. It's this is God's story and his promises and what he is doing. It's his story. And um, I think that's really important. So I have this. Um, this is from Illustrated Faith. Actually, this little it's a walk in love. Um embellishment I guess you could say and it's more blue than green and again I'm not loving my artistic choices here these colors were not how I necessarily wanted them to play together um, it's way more vibrant and I'm regretting doing the highlighting of all the yellow in this particular page but um, again the thought and the story still stands with it and i think that that's a really important thing as well when it comes to art and journaling it can be like well what if i mess up or what if i don't like it or whatever whatever fill in the blank and sometimes you just have those days or those moments where it's like oh, i didn't really love that but also um it can really be a okay but what did i get from this and it's an opportunity to do something different next time um the other thing with using watercolor that if i really really wanted to i probably could get a lot of this to lift by completely drying the um watercolor that's there and then spraying it with water using a paper towel drying it completely again spraying it but i just decided to leave it this is what came out and it's okay so now I'm just kind of using a craft knife to um, make these stickers fit. I did use some close to my heart shimmer trim for that strip that you see well as well with the washi tape that goes all the way across. And all these stickers are from washi tape uh, junk journal books that I have. I did include links in the resources for these. And they're all people just walking different walks of life, different um, different ages, different different demographics because really God's purpose for all of us is to walk in his joy and walk in his love. And I thought this was a really great way to kind of highlight and feature that uh, for today. I also really love the prayer today um, in the devotional. And it says, Dear Father, thank you for your gifts of wonder and delight. Fill my heart and mind. Hold me and protect me as I walk in the fullness of your joy throughout this day. And we can also add beyond joy, his love, his forgiveness, his mercy, his purpose for us. And um, I'm loving the different studies out there that are showing scientifically, because I'm like a big nerd that way, not just a religious um, thought. You know, I love how science proves the Bible all the time. Love it. Um, but what it actually does to our brains when we read the scriptures and what it actually does to depression when you read the scriptures and what it actually does to um, our relationships when we read the scriptures what it actually does for our um, businesses when we read the scriptures the lowering of depression and anxiety that physically happens when we read the scriptures not just once a week not just twice a week but every day and that's the fullness of his joy right there. Now, I'm not trying to preach in anybody. That is not the goal of this 100 Days of Grace and Gratitude. The goal is to really share some beauty in art. You can see I'm trying to do a little bit of lifting with a golden shimmer brush pen. Yeah, it's not. I, again, this isn't my favorite page. It's it's a little messy. It didn't bleed through, so that's a good thing. Um, you can see some shadowing, but I'm not worried about that. So we're going to kind of let it dry and and uh we'll see we might we might try to do a little bit more lifting as these colors just didn't play the way i really envisioned or wanted them to but you know you live and you learn um again my goal here isn't to make this a bible study website or a preachy website or anything like that my heart has just been i want to share these next hundred days of grace and gratitude here in an art journal form and inside she makes club still going to make cricket tutorials scrapbooking tutorials everything separate from this so that no matter what stage or phase or faith or religion you are you are welcome here and i hope that this just brings you a little bit of joy a little bit of light and a little bit of truth no matter where you're coming from i really hope you'll join us inside she makes club i do love to make a life together that we love fun diy um, cricket courses all kinds of fun things and i really wanted to make it as affordable as possible especially with the holidays coming up i know it's been a bit of a 
a uh, tough few years for a lot of people. So it's one penny for your first 100 days, whether you're a current member, old member, existing member. I said that already, current member. You know what I'm trying to say. Enjoy the moments, friends. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.